Hello everybody and welcome to the worst person who ever plays this game plays this game. I am of course your host for today, J Smith OTI. I I am apologetic. I, I am sorry for all the ter the terrible things that I do with my time in this game. I died last time, so what I'm gonna do is start a new game. I could see that I'm I'm at a quite a conundrum. I think Overall, my favorite character is Willow because her friggin' like fire starter power is invaluable at night. Unfortunately, um, I kind of want to be Wilson again so I can at least attempt to get this meat effigy thing going on. So I think I'm gonna start with Wilson. Possibly, maybe I'll get enough points to build a tent after I build said meat effigy, um, and then get Willow after that. Who knows? Sir as hell isn't me, so let's kind of continue on. I'm I'm interested about this whole Maxwell character. I mean, he's at the start of every playthrough, but he does absolutely nothing after that. I'm sure that he'll have something to do with the main game once the main game is apparently finished. Um, and in that kind of respect, I don't know because the game is it's still in beta, obviously, and so what the game you know, kind of gives me, right now, besides attitude, um, <laughs> uh, is just kind of like this free play mode, and, um, I want to wait until there is, or I can't wait until there is, like, a full-fledged, like, you know, start to finish, and there's gonna be an end game at some point, I hope. Hopefully it's not like, and I hate to say this, um, I hope at least it's not like the Minecraft end game, in which I didn't give a shit about you know the main story at all and then I I think I might have beat the ender dragon like once after you know I got my admin bro to pretty much just give me like the most OP shit ever and go and attack it because like it doesn't really matter and I, I feel like the the end game in Minecraft and I hope um, some of you people don't hate me because of this I just didn't like it I didn't think there was anything it didn't really flow with the rest of this quote unquote story there is I think it was just kinda like thrown in there just so, you know, Mahjong could just say, all right, it's done. A few guys, it's out of beta or whatever the hell that it was currently in. Although, I mean, it's still cool that they are still developing the game. And I think Cly has also mentioned that they're going to continue um, making things for the game, you know, six months down the road from the actual finished release. So that is good. And I like that, that they, you know, do care about, uh, you know, they're not just trying to rush it out and, and finish it. Not saying that... Mahjong did that. I'm just saying, you know, their, their end game just wasn't. It left things for me to, it left things to be desired, let's say. For me at least. But this is Don't Starve. It's a completely different game from Minecraft. Although some people say it's very Minecraft ish. Very, or excuse me, very Minecraft dish. Yeah, Minecraft esque. Although I don't really see it. Um, other than the fact that you're, you have to. I don't know, craft things every once in a while, but I'm not building um, in like any really sort of regard. Um, just collecting items and trying to survive as long as I possibly can. And so, on a basic level, maybe that there are these sort of like little nuances or you know that make the game seem similar, but it's really not that at all. But all right, what the hell is this? Like episode 53? I can't believe like I'm just I'm still I don't know. I'm still bad at the game. <laughs> uh, must lead to the kingdom of the bunny men. That would be a pretty sweet level if they would implement such shenanigans down the line. Um, like, if you actually jump down a rabbit hole. I mean, I know this is like Edward Allen, or Edgar Allan Poe-esque, but maybe if they did sort of uh, like Alice in Wonderland type deal, would you actually go down the rabbit hole? I think that'd be kind of interesting. I think it would flow in kind of well with what the rest of the game kind of presents itself. I feel excited today, and I feel like, I don't know, maybe because I don't normally record at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon like I'm doing right now, but I feel peppy, which is good. Usually I do recordings during the weekdays and then like after work, and so you'll get me and I'm just like, have like, you know, I'm at eight work from 8 in the morning till recently till like 6 o'clock at night, and so like after that long day of work, I'm just like, man... I still got to record some things, and hopefully that they're they're good for the most part. I mean, I have all you guys watching it, so um, that is good. But uh, this whole it's Sunday right now, 
and it's like the weekend, and I got a good night's sleep, and I'm ready to just start kicking some ass at uh, at Don't Starve. So what I'm going to do, um, I did I did a lot of exploration on like this side of the map um, because I didn't I didn't create a new map, so this is still continuing on from last time. Um, so over here is a plenty of explored, but I kind of want to see if there's anything down into like the bottom left area. So that is going to be my main focus of this one. Uh, I could go back on that. I reserve that right to always, um, I don't want to say lie to you guys, but that is essentially um, what I do. Uh, not on purpose, it's just, it's something that occurs every once in a while, and I don't mean it. But I just go back on my word every once in a while. Okay, so, 11 carrots, chop down this tree, I have 6 flint, 26 pieces of grass, 8 pine cones. That's pretty, that is a really good start so far. I don't even know why I'm collecting the pine cones. Well, I could... You know, I could consider making like a base somewhere, but I don't want to. I never really want to. Um, not at the beginning anyways. I like to explore for at least like the first few nights. Find a place that it has generally a lot of different uh, biome types around it. So that is what I'm currently going to be looking for. Um, who knows if I'll find it, but I hope so. So, I... You know, I did die last time and have to start fresh, and but it's not like super fresh, um, because I still have some of my items unlocked, which is good, um, and kind of like what I missed about you know my current runs, um, because in my current like my most current runs, you know, episodes probably like 30 to 40, or excuse me, like 30 to 50, I've probably had just about everything unlocked that I could in the game. Um, what that meant was um, perhaps like kind of like a lull in research because I had all the research that I could do done. Um, and I just didn't think that there was you know too much stuff going on. So um, luckily for you and for me because this is as much for me as it is for you I hope. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot more fun just being able to go back to like the Don't Starve roots and just kind of uh, playing the game how I used to play it and like back in the beginning. I feel a little bit more um, comfortable with the game, uh, of course, since I've been playing over 50 episodes now. Um, but it's it's nice to have like the uh, the game kind of and like restart over and have a fresh start and like a new outlook. Um, and although I am not the most intelligent man in the world when it comes to this game. You can um, just check out the previous episodes if you want um, more of a description to that. Uh, <laughs> death is death is something that I uh, I find a lot in in my Don't Starve plays, and whether or not it's just me doing something dumb or trying to be or like you know I have like a good idea like oh let me attack this spider den what can possibly go wrong here well. Turns out a lot of different things could go wrong. Uh, one thing that makes me incredibly sad is I'm pretty sure that I did have a... Um, what the hell is it? One of the, the amulets that I could actually be able to respawn myself. Unfortunately, I didn't have it equipped because I had the backpack equipped. And that is one thing I consistently struggle with throughout the whole, like, don't starve, let's play. Um... So we'll see if I can do anything different. Obviously, I need to be a little bit more cognizant of what I'm doing and how much life I have and all the things that kind of follow through with creatures that I attack. Um, but, you know, on the flip side of things, I don't want it to be, like, too dull or too boring. So I got to, you know, do something that is not just me collecting, you know, stinking... What the hell do I collect? Uh... Oh, yeah, all, like, the grass and trees and um, all that kind of fun stuff. Well, not really fun stuff. It depends on your outlook of fun. It certainly does. Um, but what I will do is, like I said, do a little bit of exploration all around this, uh, and I call them continents. I'm not sure if that is, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not, the, like, the, the proper word for it. But, like, this big old chunk of island right here. I'm going to take a gander around and see if it kind of leads me to anywhere else. It's new and exciting and exotic. Um, perhaps with beefalo, I would really 
probably welcome some beefalo. Um, that would entice me perhaps a little bit more to... Um, I don't know. I don't know what that the hell would that would entice me to do. Uh, maybe get out there and explore a little bit more because I would have access to a larger quantity of food. I got a pig right here. Um, he's hanging out, um, but it doesn't look like there's anything over here. I really thought there was going to be another island or another chain archipelago, if you will, possibly, of different places to go. But it doesn't look like it. it's just a big island with nothing really going on. So I will continue on. I'm not going to... I don't want to make camp in the same place. But I kind of do want to make camp in the same place. That seemed like a really good territory. It had pretty much everything I could ever want. Um, it had rocks close by. It had rabbits close by. It had my one beefalo that, you know, could always poop for me. Um, <laughs> and that made me that made me a pretty happy individual. But let's collect some more um, kind of randomly things. Get some more berries. Uh, so the first night, I do a lot of this. Just kind of going around, grabbing all the berries, grabbing all the grass, and grabbing all of the twigs that I really can possibly get my hands on. That will allow me to kind of begin my, my exploration process um, in the which I will kind of be a nomad for a little bit, like a hunter-gatherer, um, and kind of just go off on my own, do a little bit of exploration, try to find the perfect place for me. Actually, I'm not going to chop down that, because I have 20 logs right now. If I got any more, I would go over the log quota. What I could do, actually... Um, how much is a backpack? Do I have things? I can make a backpack. Okay, so there we go. A um, little bit more room to maneuver around. Which is always a good thing. This doesn't seem too familiar. And that's that's always the, the kind of thing I get out of Don't Starve. Like, although I do start on, like, a totally different place. Or, like, excuse me, I, I start at the same place. Sometimes it just feels totally different. Um, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it is, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Um, I just don't think I've really explored this part too much. Which is good, and that's what is... Um, pretty awesome about the new algorithm is that there's pretty much always going to be something new in the fact of, you know, exploration wise. In the old algorithm what it would do is just make a series of islands that are held together by um, big long bridges that it might take a long time to get between them. But for this it can still take a long time but that's mostly due to the fact, ah, oh, I was trying to thought about getting that rabbit and I even tried to begin like going around the rock, but fortunately, no can do right there, mon frere. Grab my flint, grab my gold, and continue on to wherever I need to be. Uh, not gonna kill the spider. Have I gone down this way before? Probably, probably. I think so. So I got plenty of graves, got lots of gold. That will allow me to get a golden axe. Golden axe, it's like the uh, the game. I remember. I used to play that game on like Sega Genesis all the time. It was funny because I only had the like it was, um like the demo game of the game. I don't know. It's like a Sega Genesis cartridge, but it had all kinds of like demos on it. And so I think there was like Sonic. Um, like the original one, there was like some bejeweled looking game, I think Streets of Rage, the original was on there, and Golden Axe as well. Fun game! That was a nice little trip down memory lane, actually. Um, so, not really liking this place too much right here, um, but it is going to start turning dark soon, so let me explore a little bit down here. If I see any um, spiders, I'll obviously turn tail and run away, but this doesn't seem too bad right here. Um, let me get out my axe, chop down some more trees. Hopefully it won't turn into an end, but if it does, I have 16 pine cones that I'm ready and willing to throw down. But it looks like I'm pretty good right here. I'll chop down this last tree and create a fire underneath, or just like around this area. 
So, a few more. No, don't. I just want you to do collect. I'm using space bar a lot more now. Um, thank you guys for those tips, like, way back then. Um, when I really just kind of, uh, was always searching with my mouse to try to find, you know, whatever I'm trying to click on or gather or chop down. Um, the space bar is an invaluable tool to use because it'll kind of, like, auto-select something and go about the business of trying to collect it. And there was a game... I was recently playing, and I forget what, but I think Don't Starve is kind of like spoiled. Like, this this space bar to gather things is kind of like, you know, making me casual. Because, like, I keep in other games, I'm just like, well, if I had just held space, I'd be able to collect this thing. But I have to hunt down for it and click it. I'm trying to remember what game I was playing that made me want to do that, but I really, I don't remember. The only other game that I've been playing recently is Dark Souls, but I don't think I really, you, I don't think that's something that you need in Dark Souls. Um, maybe though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going crazy, talking, rambling about nothing at all. I do think, did I just hear a beefalo? I do hear a beefalo. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to where I used to be. And actually, I think it is, to be honest. Um, so I think if I go like right down over here, that will be where I used to be. And if that's the case, um, I don't think I'm going to go that way. Uh, what I want to do is, I haven't been down here yet, so let me do that come daytime. I ask you, let me do that like you guys are going to say, no, Jay Smith, you can't do that. Well, you could say that in the comments, um, but obviously I can't hear those in the comments. What I want to do... And what I, in my young YouTube infancy stage, is I'm not able to stream yet. Which is really, really unfortunate. And that is something that I would, I think I would really love to do and really enjoy doing. It would allow me to play some games outside of the norm, outside of the channel. And kind of give you guys the perspective. Um, and also have me, you know, live be able to, you know, comment and feedback with you guys. I think that would be super fun and super interesting. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now because I'm not partnered. Because I am a terrible channel that has terrible content. Unfortunately. Oh, well. I'm, I'm trying. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, but regardless, uh, I'm going to get to the daytime and go up here and go down to the left because I've yet to be down in this area. I believe. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of the heart. I can't, I can't go that loud, man. I can't go that, that, uh, that high. Oh, boy. I remember being down here before. Okay. Well, not during this play, obviously. Um, during my previous ones. So, collecting more twigs. Should I? No. I was thinking, like, should I collect some of these grave things? But I'm not going to. I'll come back for those in a bit. Uh, what dying actually allows me to do is respawn all of those graves. So I will be able to... Did I suppose... To... Oh, okay, no, I'm supposed to be down here. Okay, cool. Um, here is a poo. I guess a... Is there a beefalo? There he is. There's one beefalo. I remember seeing him every once in a while last time. I'll let him be to his business. Uh, I don't want to bother him too much. Not that it really does bother him. Uh, I forget what I was talking about. I don't remember. Anyways. Continuing on this journey. Um, I think I was talking about graves and stuff. Uh, so yeah, they're all pretty much back and ready for me to dig them up again. Which is going to be able to give me some more research points down the road. This is a huge forest with a lot... Of scary spiders inside. I wonder if the pig is here. He is. He's scared of me. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a scary man. But this is a huge island. Like a really big dark forest island. Which you don't see too often. Well I guess you do see them pretty often. Um, <laughs> Jay Smith lying to. Right to uh, you guys' face. Uh, Alright. Picking up some more things. And last rocks. Okay. So. 11 rocks, one pig man. Where is this guy coming from? Oh, right here. I want to find a pig, like a, I don't know, a pig town, Newport City. I think that would be good to find. Um, 
maybe I would use them to go on an adventure, you know, murder some uh, spiders, what have you. There is a lot, a lot of spiders. Look how long this thing is. It's, it's insane. But I'll keep, keep moving down um, through this spidery forest. If this ends in nothingness, I'm going to be a sad person. And with that sadness, I just might have to burn this whole thing down for being annoying. I kind of want to do that. I do kind of want to do that. There's something over here. Some more foresty areas. Hmm. Alright, well, I will take a walk on the wild side and go up here, see if there's anything that catches my fancy. Doesn't really kind of seem like that, does it? Um... Just a whole lot of open spaces. I got a red bird. Plenty of graves down here, though. Just really a massive amount. Uh, but really kind of nothing I could really do with it. Especially with all these trees and all these spider dens. What I should actually do is torch the forest. Um, kind of hope that it kills a bunch of the spiders. And then gather some uh, charcoal. And I can use that charcoal. Is that what they call it? Charcoal? Um, and use that charcoal to build a. Uh, whatever, the crockpot. Crockpot I can use for all sorts of purposes. Namely, making good food that lasts a little bit longer. At least gives me a little bit more hunger. And I love how I'm devising this plan, and yet, and yet I'm just consistently running away. Do you just keep gonna keep running away? Oh, that was like Toonami reference right there. Um where to go? Here we go. Ah, a little pig village. Whoa! Oh my god, this actually is New Pork City. That is incredible. Just a lot, a lot of pigs. I think things will probably tend to get pretty hairy around here at night. Uh, let me see what would happen if I hit that and ran away. I wonder if the pigs will attack. Yes, they will. So that's good. Oh, let's run away. So you guys can still attack those. I'll take the silk. You guys can take the rest. Um, nothing left to attack with, so I will use my axe. And hopefully it won't be too close to evening. Or, excuse me, not evening, um, a full moon. Spiders are getting their comeuppance. The pigs are fighting ferociously. And Jay Smith is going to catch something on fire. So, let's go down here. And I kind of don't want to torch the pig houses. So, maybe, like, down here will be okay. We'll light that son of a bitch on fire. And see what happens after that. Um, possibly bad. Might not have been the best idea, but, you know, I do what I do. Maybe it's kind of weird at times. May not make too much sense, but I get rid of the spiders when I can. So what I want to do is create um, a tool to help me battle. And for that, I'm actually going to need some food. Um, there's that. Let me eat this. Okay, cool. I need a rope. Okay. Oh, I should probably make a, uh, a campfire right here. I think that'll be good. That'll just be a nice little start. I will create another rope. Put the rope right here. Um, and with this other piece of rope, I will create my spear. There we are. Okay, good. So let's attack you. I'm actually really hoping for some silk. Because what I would love... Oh, shit. Um, is to not die by these spiders. So you guys will just have to keep your distance. I apologize. Um, no, I, I want to make like a bug net at some point. Uh, I don't think I can. I need a science machine to do that. huh? Well, I don't have one of those yet. But I will get one. And then I really, because that reminded me of last time, that don't even try this. You don't want to, to mess with me, Mr. Spider. Well, you do, 
and I just don't want to fight the rest of your clansmen. Because you guys are a bunch of dicks. Alright, that's it. Who's next? Attack all the spiders. Ow. And you. Okay. So, got lots of silk, which is a great thing. Got one more spider to attack. I'm gonna stomp you dead and collect all the silk from inside of your diggle little body. So eight of those, really good. All right, um, what's next? Grab my axe, chop that sucker down, grab some charcoal. Chop that sucker down, grab some charcoal. Chop that sucker down, and once again, grab some charcoal. How many charcoals do I need? I need six charcoal to make a crock pot, easily enough. Two, and three, there we go. Oh, charcoal is catching on fire. Me too. Okay. Gotta keep my distance from that. Get the pine cone, get the charcoal. Alright, pig bros. That was fun. That was an interesting evening. We should continue that some other time. Am I out of... Uh, pickaxe? I think so. Why is this up here and not down here? Riddle me this, Batman. Lots of pigs over here. You has meat? Uh, no. No, I don't, unfortunately. Pigs, pigs, pigs. Everywhere pigs. Um, and not a buffalo in sight. Another long, long biome here. And doesn't look like I'm going to find too much of anything that I was looking for. Uh, you know, grasslands are good to have. I know where they're at, but last time I spawned, there wasn't any beefalo there, which is kind of a big problem. Well, not really a big problem, but it was a problem. The problem that I wasn't really in any sort of uh, anticipation of facing at that moment in time. So, I will continue looking around here for a place to go, a place to live, a place where everybody knows my name. Might not find that, but cheers, Mr. Pig. Hmm. There is, there's just pigs everywhere on this island, though, so that's interesting. No pig king that I saw. So there's graves. I, I want to, maybe I will go back and have my main base at the location that I did last time. It's the center hub. But what I kind of want to do outside of that is have a few bases to really go to. Uh, and so I only have six rocks right now. I don't even think that's enough for me to make a fire pit. I was wrong right there. Wait, how many rocks do I have? I have 11 and then... Oh, okay, that's what I was confused. I only saw that six and it was... Okay, so that's clearly not the case. I do have enough for one fire pit. Um, so let me create this uh, golden pickaxe, opulent pickaxe, excuse me. Let's grab this and mine this open. Anything I can get. I was hoping for more gold. Unfortunately, none was found. That's okay. Um, I want to get rid of the regular axe, but not right here. Not right now. Swamp over on the right-hand side. Rock over right in front of me. Anything valuable on the inside, just rocks and flint. Not that rocks and flint aren't invaluable, because they certainly are. Um, Alright, so yeah, I will head back up to my old residence. I think. Let's grab this silk. There we go. Um, this spider. He's... I'll give him the business. I uh, don't really need... That meat, okay, okay. I feel like I could have prevented that. That forest fire I think he's talking about. So I'm gonna head up here. Lead these spiders right to the pig farm. And hopefully these guys will be my bros. Yes, they will be. Okay, so. Well, this leads off to somewhere else. This will probably go to the swamp. I wonder what this one will go up to up here, though. It looks like this might connect somewhere. And it does not. I really thought that the uh, the bridge gravel right here 
might lead to somewhere new, but unfortunately it does not. I'm slowly running out of um, food. I'm going to need to find some beefalo, uh, but rabbits would be probably the next best thing, or possibly even the best thing. Where is this bridge going? I don't know. But it looks like it will... Hmm. So if right here is where I was before, if I just went straight up, would I be able to get there? Probably. But I didn't go that direction, so let's go up here. There's some more pig houses to the left. And of course, I'm going to run right through the swamp. Oh, there's this small swamp. Well, I guess not. It turns into a much larger swamp. So, let's get out of this swampy area. Swamp business. And continue my way up here. So I think this is where I kind of want to be. But, as always, I'm not completely sure what I do. But I think this is like the hub location. So let's go up here. Um, get the reeds. Get this reed. Get this reed. And I think I remember where I'm at right now. So if I go over to the left and then south, I should find my old base. Someone mentioned that reeds can be used to make papyrus. Well, I mean, I knew that, but the papyrus is actually pretty good for the science machines as well. So I will consider that as I continue and gather these things. Um, I'm going to head up here and head to the left and down, like I said before. This is my one little rabbit that used to hang out with me, and down here is where I used to live. So I will build another one. I got my beefalo up there, ready and willing for poop to come out of his butt. Get my rope, put it on the fire, and that's pretty good. I will make three cut stone if I have enough. I might not. So I can't. So one, two, three get a crock pot going on over here. Build the crock pot right there. Good stuff. And grass. One, two, three, and four. Is there anything I need to cook? Doesn't look like it. Um, there's plenty to eat. Well, not plenty, but enough. Uh, can I... Uh, they just serve as fuel for the fire. Okay, so. Science machine. Um, let's build one of these guys. And if I could create a bug net, I would love to do that. So, um, I got a bug net that I could make. I just need one rope for that. I could probably use a box. So a chest requires three boards. One, two, and three. Good stuff. And one more chest down in this general area. Right um, here. Okay, inside of the chest, I will put my monster meat. And how much, actually, is it to research papyrus? need a science machine to figure that out. So let's go over here. I can. So, uh, let's make some papyrus. Two... So how much? So 105 up to 132. That's not that much. But it's alright. Put the rest in there. Um, alright, so that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Kind of stopped a little bit almost where I started from last time, it seems. So whether or not that's a good idea or, or a good thing or a bad thing. But this kind of... It looks like almost like a dude right here. So like here's his, like, his head... And here's like one arm and his other arm and two legs. It's kind of neat. Um, with like the bat symbol over top of him. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I apologize once again for dying last time. I don't mean to do it. It just happens. Because I don't, uh, I'm not good at playing video games evidently. So thank you guys very much. I will check you guys next time. If you want to leave me comments and feedback, always feel free to do so. I love that. Um, if you want to reach me outside of YouTube, do such shenanigans on Twitter, jsmith_oti. underscore O-T-I. And until next time, thank you again, and I'll check you later.